Let's go on a little adventure. But first we need these. Come on, let's go. What kind of adventure? Stick around to find out. First things first. Let's fire up the chiller. Gonna have to let that cool down a little bit. Open up the compressor. Turn on the machine. We'll wait for the laser until that gets the temp. Wake up the computer. Create a new file. Draw a square. Set it to a specific size. 200 by 200. Load in a piece of poster board. Set an origin. That looks good. Press the origin button. Frame the square. Check your settings. Check the cooler. Turn the laser on. Run the file. Move the laser head out of the way. Grab a Sharpie. Open the door. Label the axis. Remove the square. Little bit of a difference in the measurement on my X. We'll measure the Y and see what we come up there. So X axis, Y axis, both measure the same. I'm in focus 199.62, 199.62, but I put in 200 millimeters. So can we fix that? Yes, we can. This is how. Go into light burn, go up to edit, go to machine settings, go to this right here, calibrate axis. I did not enter this, this is just what pops up. Um, but yes, I told the machine to do 200 on the X and it actually read, or it actually cut 199.62. You notice it changes the step length to that. So we hit right and then we come down and we do calibrate axis again and we do the Y. And we do the same thing, 200, but we measured 199.62. And then we write. Say okay. Let's try it again. Set a new origin, beep beep, all that stuff, and we will go ahead and run it. Same process as before. This is just so that I can put this on top, because if you notice the calipers sit just a little bit proud. I mean, you can use a scrap piece of, this is a scrap piece of 16th. You can use a scrap piece of eighth, whatever you want to do. Um, so I sit that on there. Then I actually take a scrap piece of quarter, because it's a little heavier, and put it on there, just to make sure it's flat. So let's see what measurement we got. Interestingly enough, I am too big now. So we'll do the same process. Okay, so yeah. Much, much better, much closer. 
I did redo that test uh, two more times and change the values again uh, until I got it to be, I believe it was 199.99 on both X and Y, which is close enough to for me. Um, yeah, if you want to keep going, you will eventually get it to be 100%, 200, 200, perfect. Um, but being off by one hundredth of a millimeter, I can deal with that. So now I feel pretty good about that. Now we're going to do a circle and I'm just going to do a circle smaller, uh, 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter. Uh, so I can do it inside one of those squares that I already cut instead of wasting even more material. I went ahead and labeled which way the X and the Y was. Um, but the one thing you'll notice is, I mean, that looks like a pretty damn perfect circle. There's none of that, no extra little, you know, start and stop point where it started and stopped. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll measure this one. Obviously measuring our call across the widest part, I'm at 99.99. And we got the same thing on the X. So I'd say we're pretty good. So that does two things for you. One, it allows you to draw a, you know, five by five square and get a five by five square when you pull it out of the machine. Uh, two, if you've ever had an issue where you're cutting a circle and it goes around and you can, you can see the start and stop point because there's maybe just a little tick in the, in the circle all the way around because it didn't quite line up. It didn't match quite right all the way around. Um, should solve that problem too, because now you should be getting perfect circles as well. And just for the hell of it, I've got a scrap piece of quarter inch acrylic or six millimeter acrylic, readjusted my focus. We're gonna cut it out of the acrylic too, just that circle, see how it looks. So I've gone down to a 50 millimeter circle. There's 50 millimeter on the X, holding it in the air so you can see I'm actually tight on it. And again, on the Y, holding it in the air, 50. So, Cutting perfect circles. Hope that helps somebody.